What's up guys, hope you're doing well today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, that really helps me out. In this video, I'm going to be going over the Ford F-150 lug nuts that kind of swell up and are uh, problematic moving. But that also made me think um, of another topic, kind of goes along with this, since I am kind of on a little mini uh, vacation with my family right now. And I had this footage on my phone of those Ford lug nuts. But one thing that I always do, no matter what vehicle I'm in, I make sure that I have uh, some things that I carry with me in case I have a flat tire or a problem on the road. Um, I carry with me uh, just the, so I don't have to be reliant on someone else to come uh, bail me out or help me out. I can get myself out of that situation. So two things I carry is one of the Dewalt power station, which I've done other videos on. It's a air compressor and boost box in one. And I also have in this bag my DCF 900 and a socket that'll fit the lug nuts. So in addition to having the battery box in case I have a, a, a you know, dead battery, uh, I carry a tire plug kit, I carry, you know, that Dewalt box has an air compressor on it, but having that impact when you go to change your, uh, if you have a flat tire and you need to change out your flat tire, you just turn that hardest part of that job into the easiest part of that job. Now, the next hardest part would be jacking it up safely and all that. Uh, still going to be kind of a, an inconvenience, but having that impact and make sure you have the right socket already in the bag with it um, to go along with the, you know, the lugs, that'll make it a lot easier. Uh, if you don't have an impact, just make sure you do have your, uh, your lug wrench that you should come with your car or a four-way lug wrench. So the main problem with this truck was that the factory lug wrench that it came would no longer fit these lug nuts. They'd swollen up and we've kind of messed them up, distorted them a little bit, trying to find a socket that would fit them properly. And we got a few of them off, had some problems, had to beat some sockets onto them just to get them off. And I'm going to show you what this is like the one we're replacing it with. I'll show you the part number here in a second. It's a Dorman brand uh, here's the bag there's the part number so they don't have the issue with them swelling up so we were trying to put on different size sockets to get a good bite on these factory lug nuts and my buddy tyler got his socket stuck on this one and so i used the dcf 900 to put in a little adapter on there because the snap-on impact he was using was a uh, 3 8 drive so this is what happened. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, before y'all blow up in the comments, calling me an idiot, I knew that was going to happen. We got the socket off, got the lug nut off. I was just wanting to demo the DCF 900. Real quick, while I'm swapping out these lug nuts, um, these factory lug nuts that are garbage, I'm swapping them out for the higher... Uh, quality lug nuts. I'm going to show you real quick uh, the DCF 900 on setting number one, how easily it'll take lug nuts off of a pickup truck. That's the first setting, okay? I wouldn't recommend tightening them any more than the second setting. Uh, third setting, you're likely to break the stud or strip the lug out. So real quick, I'm going to demo the precision wrench mode. And what this is supposed to do is it'll slowly apply enough pressure. Like so if I'm backing it out, it will apply enough pressure to loosen it up and then it just backs it off slow. So when you go to tighten it, so I'm going to put the other new lug nut on here. Uh, it's supposed to prevent you from over tightening, but if you're not careful, if you hold that switch down, it will over tighten. So notice how it goes slow and then all of a sudden goes full blast power if you hold that switch down for just a second longer after it stops. If you keep that trigger pressed down, it, it, it sends full uh, power. So just real quick, I'm going to show you guys this little booklet. Uh, that came with the DCF 900 that gives all the uh, the talks about the precision wrench mode and it gives the uh, the torque uh, for the other speed so the precision wrench mode helps to prevent over tightening in forward and fastener runoff in reverse 
So in forward, the tool pauses before impacting to help prevent over tightening. So like I said in that video, if you hold it down too much, it'll send the full 1,030 foot pounds of uh, torque to the fastener. So you just got to be careful. As soon as it stops, you need to let go of that trigger. And then reverse, you know, it'll send the amount of torque it needs basically to break it loose and then it slows down. So the tool lowers the speed when fastener is loose to prevent, help prevent runoff or basically damaging the threads. And in the first setting, on the low speed setting, uh, it tightens up to 100 foot pounds. It'll still break away at 1400 foot pounds. And it's always going to break away at the same 1400, no matter what setting that it's in. Uh, the only thing that changes is the tightening. So in the second, it goes up to 600 foot pounds. And then in the third setting, it goes up to the full amount of tightening uh, foot pounds, which is 1030 foot pounds. So hopefully this video helped you guys out a little bit and um, just be more prepared. I think more people should be more prepared to help themselves out, take care of themselves and, and not be so reliant on others to save you in a uh, bad situation. Yeah, it's always good to have have that, but you know, just be prepared for a worst case situation and you can help yourself out. So anyway, do me a favor, hit the like button, but most importantly, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos like this coming soon. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.